Across campus, opening doors for others has been a long tradition that students and professors alike put into practice every day. Many are glad to hold the door, and those in favor are appreciative. However, has this chivalrous pastime become so extreme that it is no longer an action of assistance, but something more? When does the action of holding a door open for someone break the fine line of being helpful and being obnoxious? I didn't realize that it would have come down to this. I mean, I was always pretty appreciative, but then I just couldn't avoid it wherever I went. It was like, I don't know, like a zombie attack or something. My best friend and I still aren't talking. It's still so hard to talk about. I didn't think it had only been one time, but then it got out of control. I was walking back to my dorm with Annie, and, and there's this guy leaving the dorm. And naturally, he held the door open, and Annie walked through. Then, he just kept on walking, and the door slammed right in my face. The first time it happened, I didn't think about it. The second time it happened, again, didn't give it much thought. The fourth time it happened, I started to get a little bit suspicious. And the tenth time it happened, it was just ridiculous. I'd be walking past the door, and someone would just hold it open for me, even if I wasn't going in. Sometimes I won't be within 30 feet of a door, and they'll hold it open, waiting, waiting. I'd feel inclined to start running. Oh, I've always tried to hold doors open for others. I mean, I guess I kind of made it into a sort of a competition. I would try to get to the door before anyone else could, even, even if no one else was there. It started when I first got to campus. I opened the door for a woman, a professor maybe, and she smiled at me. It just felt so good. I confronted Annie about the situation, trying to see what was up, and she just stared at me as if she had no idea what I was talking about. As we left the building, there was a girl walking in, held the door open for Annie, and walked through. I ran up to Annie and yelled, see, that's what I'm talking about. And she turned around and said, it's not that big of a deal. I don't know what your problem is. Sure, most people just let me win, uh, uh, open the door first. But, I mean, yeah, I'll encounter some people who are just as eager. It's gone beyond the point of chivalry. It's just plain obnoxious. I didn't do it that often when I started, just here and there to get that jolt of happiness. Then it turned into a habit. Before I knew it, I couldn't stop. I'd even sneak down in the middle of the night to see if anyone was about to walk through the door. We both reached for the door at the same time. I definitely reached the handle first. It's just that he wanted it more. Shoving me out of the way so he could open the door for me. I didn't realize I had a problem at first. I guess I would say this campus is obsessed. Friends started to avoid me. People would give me funny looks. It wasn't until I opened the door for this one guy, and he glared at me. Scowl, he took every bit of happiness I'd ever felt opening doors for others. I knew at that moment that I had a problem. Sure, I'll still open doors for others. It's, I'll, I'll just probably be more careful about it. Oh, we'll make up. And I'll just start walking through doors first. I'm in a sort of rehab now. Things are definitely improving for me. I'll continue to open doors, sure. But I'll have to be careful. Yeah, I guess I would miss it if everyone just stopped opening doors for everyone. It's like anything slightly sinful. You, you hate it, but you absolutely love it. <laughs>